What's up guys, this is Desm101, back with a follow-up video to my 3DO mod video that I did not too long ago. And I've been getting a lot of requests about how to use the NVRAM and how to back up your saves and manage them on the device. And so that's what we're going to talk about today. Uh, I've done a bunch of testing and stuff with it. And basically the things that you'll need to complete this are uh, the ISO for the Panasonic Real Sampler CD. And then you'll also need an NVRAM backup folder that I suggest you go ahead and get from Mnemo's website. And I'll also share downloads for these NVRAM files that I've created. Basically what I have here is slot one and slot two. And what happens with the NVRAM is it's a single file that is the entire contents of saves within the 3DO console itself. And the only way you can access individual saves is through the 3DO itself, like in the sampler CD, like I mentioned before. And so what you have to do is kind of confirm what's on your 3DO's memory there. And then you go ahead and once you know what you've got on there, or what you want to move, then you just use this folder, or I recommend using a folder for NVRAM files. And that way you can manage them like that. So first let's go ahead and check out this Panasonic 3DO sampler CD. I was lucky enough to find a loose copy of this in a local store over a year ago or so. And it's not easy to use as far as getting into the save file, the save file manager. The disc is kind of interesting, but we're going to skip all that. We're just going to hit the B button. We're going to skip this. Okay, we need to go into Real Machine. Press B to skip that. Okay, and then you hold the R trigger and then press up and then you get this menu here where you can click on Storage Manager. Press A again and there you go. So in here you can see everything that's been saved on the file and I don't have anything right now. You can also initialize it in here. But just so now you know how to get here, I'll be referencing this a little bit and we'll come back here in a moment. So we'll go ahead and restart the system now. Okay, and now what we'll do is move some content onto there. So if we go into my NVRAMs backup, and we'll go ahead and do Brain Dead 13. We'll move the file to NVRAM. So that's left plus C. Okay, now what we're going to do is go ahead and we'll test the disk first. So my file names are too long, I should have kept them shorter. Uh, the second one is the smaller file, I'm pretty sure. So if it works correctly, it should automatically load me directly into that part of the game. Yep, and as you see, it worked. So. We saw there was nothing on there a second ago, and now that I moved the NVRAM file on there that I created, we can confirm that it works. So what we'll do next is go ahead and have a look at the file itself. Okay, now let's go ahead and try loading a GEX file. So we'll do file to NVRAM. It's pretty quick. So GEX has its own save file manager, but it's very basic. It just gives you these three save files. But as you can see, there's my save file from earlier. And I made a duplicate just in case anything happened to it. So 
So yeah, earlier there was no save for Gex, and then I went to this one, loaded it. It's one that I had backed up earlier. So the point is, you just have to be sure and be very careful what's on the, the 3DO's save at the current time. So that means to use this real 3DO sampler to go in and check there before you back up to a file. So what you can do in your NVRAM is go ahead and name it for whatever file you're wanting to specifically manage or if you want to do it by like month or dates or just slot, slot one, slot two, slot three and have them all copy the empty one as many times as slots as you want or as however you would like to set it up and that way you have just a bunch of empty spots to save the internal memory to and if you want to go back to them you just simply go ahead and find that one that you're looking for by loading it onto the machine and then going and checking it in here. Okay, so as you can see from that Gex file, there was a bunch of other stuff on here. So this was my original one that I was working with earlier today. And what that means is that this is all the current stuff that was on there before I started experimenting this morning. So I just went ahead and copied one and then put this on there. And you know, Gex was probably one of the most important things for me, so that's why I named it Gex. But you can see also my Wing Commander 3 saves are on there. Um, Dataless Encounter, F1 GP. Yeah, so you can see it just has a pretty good set of games and if I needed to remove one of them I could do that here but yeah that's pretty much the gist of it so go ahead and let me know if you have any more questions or if there was anything that you would like me to explain in more detail just let me know all right thanks so much and I hope you have a good one see you next time